Okay guys, we're going to be discussing the 225 today. Ocean Runner Johnson. If you're experiencing uh, water inside of here, after it rains, and you really can't figure out how in the world it gets in there, it stays in there, and it won't come out. Uh, the only way you can get it out is actually to flip the engine up and let it run out the front, basically. But uh, you do not want to drill a hole in here, and please don't, because it kind of kills the whole reason that it set up like this. This is an Ocean Runner. It's supposed to be sealed up on the bottom side here any kind of way possible we don't want to put no holes in here at all but what goes bad is generally the snorkel is what goes bad on them i'll show you here this one here i just drilled out i've done it on a couple of other ones i figured i'd do it on this one too uh once you get rain to pour in here on the snorkel it's supposed to build up here and settle in here it has two little small exit areas here on the back side there and over here where the water runs out it's not supposed to get any higher than the lip there of the snorkel. So basically the rain falls in here, runs out that side, runs out that side. Over a period of time though, on the back side, you start getting trash, junk. You done repaint it three or four times. And that gap starts to close up here. And it, it can take on more water here than it can get rid of here. But on the uh, side here, I took a small drill bit and there is a pocket on each corner here, about the size of a matchbox where that water settles <clears throat> until it gets time to run out. Sometimes it won't run out no matter what with being sealed off like it is. You take a very small drill bit here, come in from here into the side here, a smaller one to start with. Of course you gotta start it, tilt it down, go into it this way to get into that pocket. Once it goes through this first layer here, stop. Do not go any further. Both sides, same way. I'll get you a larger drill bit coming from this side here and start dead in it like this to start with and tilt the bit in like that and then go into it here. That'll get you in the pocket. You go any further than that now, you can put a hole right through the cow. Okay? Now after that's been done, the water will flow out a whole lot easier. It's not gonna get a hundred percent of it out, but to keep it, you know, somewhat dry in there compared, especially if you get hit by a wave. And these things do go in the water, by the way. This one's been on the water twice. It's nothing like having a wave to take the whole engine and go right over the back side of the boat and while you're sitting there watching. That's a scary figure. But as the water runs in here, it helps it out a lot. Getting it out, especially if it's overwhelmed. See the water pouring out and how it comes out. Having these two here helps you out a lot. Alright. Please do not drill in the holes. And that bad boy, that kills the whole purpose of it being like it is. This is a 225 Ocean Runner. And it's set up for this way for a certain purpose. That's why it has a snorkel. Okay, guys. Well, I hope this is helpful. You can pull the uh, snorkel apart from the inside and pull it down and reseal it like I've done this one here. Uh, don't go any higher with it because you'll cut your air. Don't go any higher with it up or try to build around it because you'll cut your airflow and uh, you kill your engine a little bit more. But if you got water settling in the bottom side of it, really need to get it out because if it gets high enough and start bottom uh your gasket on there uh first thing people are gonna say on this video is hey tilt the engine up so it don't get wet uh well you can do that if you like if you tilt the engine up high enough you're gonna run into re whatever oil and gas you still have in here in this engine it's gonna start gumming up the bottom two cylinders on the uh of your uh uh reed valves it'll start gumming them up the bottom two will be first and the next two will be up there gumming them up as well if you lift the engine up high enough out here to keep the water from getting into it the sun's gonna start fading turn out your seals and your hydraulics that's gonna be something else you gotta fix so it's damn if you do and damn if you don't the easy way to fix it is just do the dead gum snorkel and be done with it. okay hope it's helpful